Hi everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Jason. All right, so this question says determine the net value between stations 05 plus 00 to 06 plus 00 based on the following cross sections and the profile notes shown below. Okay, so there is a, we have a table here that shows the original grade, original grade, and the finished grade for each station from uh, station 04 plus 00 to 07 plus 00. Okay, so to have a better, uh, better picture, a better idea of what is profile look like, what is the grade look like, right? So first of all, we know that the finish grade for all these stations are going to end up with 34, okay? So I'm going to draw a straight line which represent the finish grade at elevation 34, okay? And I'm gonna put four stations here and that's going to be the station four, five, six, and seven, all right? So this is zero four, zero five, zero six, to zero seven plus zero zero, all right? So first of all, at station zero four, the original grade is 32, which is below the finished grade by two feet, okay? So let's assume it's somewhere here. This is 32, all right? And then at station 05 plus 00, the finished, I'm sorry, the original grade is 37. So it should be somewhere here, okay, 37. And next station, it is at 30, which is below the finished grade by 4 feet. So it could be somewhere here, 30. And then finally, at station 07, the original grade is 35, so it's going to be right here, okay? And I'm going to connect all these elevation. Okay. Okay, so this is 35, okay? So the dashed line here represents the original grade of this um, this railway or this profile, right? And we're looking at, we're going to calculate the net value between station 05 to 06, okay? So we only care about this portion right here, okay? And because this is our finished grade at 34, right? So the the area where the value above that finished grade, above 34 feet, will will get caught, right? So we're gonna cut this portion and fill this portion so that the finished grade would end up at 34, okay? So let's enlarge this portion uh, right here. So this is your 37, and this is your straight line and straight line at 34, okay? And this is your 30, okay? And I'm gonna connect these two points. So this is 30, 34, all right? So we know that the difference in elevation as station 05 plus 00, zero is going to be three feet, right? And uh, here, this is station 06 plus 00. zero. The elevation difference will be 4 feet. Okay? So, uh, based on the similarity of these two triangles, we can determine the length for um, each triangle. Okay? So, the distance from station 0 Phi plus zero zero to this point is going to be three divided by three plus four times a hundred feet. Okay, 
the distance between these two stations is 100 feet. So the distance for this portion is 3 divided by 7 times 100. So this is going to be 42.86 feet. Okay, so this portion is 42.86. And same here, we can determine the distance for this portion is 4 divided by 7 times 100. So that's 57.14 feet. So this portion is 57.14 feet. Okay. And uh, I will I will explain why we calculate this two distance here. Okay. It is related to our volume calculation later. Okay. All right. So let's leave this information here, and we're gonna use that later. Okay. And let's go ahead and calculate the cross section area for for the cut and fill. Okay. So, like I said before, the areas above your finish grade is the area that you're going to cut, or the volume that you're going to cut, okay? So, for this portion, for station 05, because the original grade is above your finish grade, so we're going to cut this portion, okay? And for the cutting, we're going to go by this section okay so for for the cutting we know we're going to go by this section the bottom width is 30 feet and the elevation difference is three feet right this is three feet and the slope here is one to 1.1 uh 1.5 okay so if we draw a little dash line here this will be the same as the bottom width which is 30 feet and this portion this width is going to be 3 times 1.5 so this is 4.5 feet and same here this is also 4.5 feet okay so the top width is 30 plus 4.5 and plus another 4.5 okay so the area of this cut is going to be 30 plus 39 times 3 divided by 2 okay so this is the cross-sectional area of this cutting okay and I determined this area as 103.5 square foot okay and for the fill we should go by this cross-section so for fill it looks like this okay and um, the filling will be at the uh, station 06 plus 00 okay so the top width is 35 and the slope here is 1 to 1 so if the elevation difference here is 4 feet we know that this is going to be 4 feet as well. This is also 35. And this is 4 feet. Right? So for the filling, the cross-section area is going to be 35 plus 35 plus 8. That's 43 times 4 divided by 2. So this is 156 square foot. So now we know that the cross-section area at station 05 is 103.5. And the way we calculate the value for this cut is going to be your cross-section area times the distance here and divided by 2, right? So that would be, for the cutting, it is going to be 103.5, right? times the distance here which is 42.86 feet right there we just calculate that right so this is and divided by 2 so this will be your volume in cubic foot and because we're going to calculate the value in cubic yard so 
divided by 27 to convert that unit to cubic yard. So for the cutting, you're going to cut 82.15 cubic yard. Okay, your fill will be your cross section area 156 times the distance here, which is 57.14 divided by 2, then divided by 27 to make it to cubic yard. So the value for the fill is going to be 165.1 cubic yard, right? And the net value is going to be your fill because your fill, the value for the fill is larger than the value of cut. So that's going to be 165.1 minus 82.15 so we get 82.95 cubic yard for the filling. So we have to fill another 83 cubic yard. So your answer should be D. So the net value between these two station is going to be 83 cubic yard for fill. All right. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.